Hello everybody, this is Tech Cut. In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you this right here. This is KD Neon running the latest version of KDE Plasma 5.24. I'm gonna be talking about some of the new version changes and my experience thus far after switching my primary desktop computer over to KDE Neon. Now, I made a video a little while ago, a couple weeks ago, called I'm Switching Back, in which I talked about my switch from GNOME back to KDE Plasma, and the main reason for this is their new overview look, which kind of mimics the GNOME shell. It doesn't have as much functionality and features, but for what my workflow was in GNOME, this is a beautiful replacement. As you can see, I'm easily switching between various uh, desktops. If I want to, I could go ahead and just start typing to search for an application. It's not as integrated into an application launcher as the GNOME shell, but if I go down here, this is the application launcher I'm using, which is very nice as well. This isn't new, but this kind of is. So this right here, this is the uh, release announcement. I'm gonna be linking to this down below if you don't wanna hear me babble in my mouth for another uh, eight to 10 minutes. So new background right here, this is the new background. A cool thing about this is right here, there'll be a link. So if you want to check it out, you can see stream the process live on YouTube. You can watch the entire creation process of this wallpaper. So I would definitely recommend you go ahead and check that out. If you are at all familiar with Breeze, the default theme, it's received some improvements and updates in addition to the ability to select very specific accent colors. So if we go over to appearance, go down to colors, right here we have our accent colors. Now before you could go ahead and select one of these, that's not a big deal, but now we have custom, so that's cool. What else is there worth talking about? Notifications, I'm gonna bring up a picture. Um, if something is critically important, it's gonna go ahead and notify you with a little extra like yellowish orange strip on the side of the actual notification. Right here, task manager, if I go ahead and actually play this little video demo and go down here, you can see I can actually change the, uh, the volume of this specific window within the task manager down there. Window management, and we want to go to task switcher. So alt tab, alt tab. Okay, so this isn't, this is one way to go about it. And if under visualization, we have breeze here, that's the default we just saw. But now we have cover switch and flip switch. So if I go ahead and apply that, go alt tab once again, here we could go ahead and jump in between all of our windows like so. And then we have the flip switch, apply that, control or alt tab, and then we can look at it this way. This reminds me a lot of, uh, what are those called? The old Ubuntu, like cosmic effects, I think. I don't remember. I'm probably gonna stick with, what's informative? This isn't new, but I'm just checking. Oh yeah, see, that's, that's more like it. Next up, we have Discover. Discover is actually usable and it isn't a absolute piece of garbage. Discover used to be so bad that I would recommend uninstalling it from certain distributions. But to be fair to Discover, I've been using it for a couple days now, at least on this new version. Uh, you, I have one update there. I'm not gonna update that at the moment. One thing, it's not mentioning it right here, but they did make it so you can't like uninstall the desktop environment, which is something you do not want to do. And that is helpful for people who really don't know what they are doing. In general, the the this has supported flat packs for a while, but it's really nice like Blanket right here. This is a fantastic application. Let's go ahead and grab Blanket. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Launch. Blanket is uh, a beautiful little application that allows you to have background noise. So that's the sound of a coffee shop. Uh, I like the fireplace here. That's nice. The point being, Discover is actually usable now. The uh, organization of everything makes sense. Flat packs are super easy to install and grab. The new feature is we can add locally downloaded flat packs and go ahead and install these with Discover. But in my time using KDE Neon for the past couple weeks, I've barely opened the terminal to go ahead and install applications. So I think I installed GIMP with it, but that was just it was just a habit, the very first thing I needed. That's why I don't really have the flat pack of that, but Discover is actually a decent way to manage your system software now. So that's something that's good. K Runner, what's the what's the thing for K Runner? I forgot. I don't really use K Runner that often. Plasma search. What's the button? Top enable. Here's all the plugins. Alt F2 or Alt Space. Alt Space. 
There we go. Basically, what they added here is this little question mark. Boop, click on that, and then we can see all the different options and plugins and integrations that we have with the uh, little K runner help screen. So that's always fun. Wayland is getting much better support for KDE Plasma. I'm pretty sure this is still on Xorg. It's not the default yet, but they are uh, on a, and I quote, a brisk pace with a massive number of improvements. So that's good. If we were to go and check out the full change log, you could just really see here how many different changes and improvements and additions and fixes and everything that there is. Just look at this list. So just a huge thanks to all the different developers and contributors who have uh, worked on this project and made it what it is today. Now with that, this is the actual distribution I've been running and I, I've been having a very good time with it. Uh, one of the reasons I switched away from uh, KDE Plasma wasn't really because it was bad or had any issues. I just wanted to try GNOME and I ended up liking it so much that I just stayed with it. That was part of my uh, the Fedora review that I did in which I forced myself to use it for about a month and that uh, forcefulness ended up being a positive because now I really appreciate both KDE Plasma and GNOME substantially. They're both fantastic environments to be in. Another thing is with KDE Plasma, there's so many different components and things to change. Before when I was using this, there's a lot of little bugs and glitches here and there that I would notice, but uh, since using this distribution for the better part of two weeks or so, even the fact that this is a testing branch of this, so it's uh, all beta software for the most part, I haven't had any of the glitches or anything that I used to, especially running KDE uh, Plasma on Fedora, that when I, at least when I tried it, it was an absolute nightmare. And another thing is switching to this because I'm like 95% sure this is Ubuntu. There we go. Yeah, it's a Debian and Ubuntu, probably mostly Ubuntu LTS. The main reason I'm on Arch for the most part, other than some on AMD Pro drivers, which I'm pretty sure I could get on here, is the up-to-date software. But now with how well and basically awesome flat packs are, that's not really as big of a deal to me anymore, so I can actually be in a Ubuntu ecosystem for a long period of time and be completely fine. So as of now, the main reason I actually installed this was for testing purposes. And right now I have really no reason to go out and switch back to Endeavor or try out Fedora or anything else. Everything that I've been doing on the system has been working perfect. So at least for the time being, I am going to be sticking with KDE Neon. Now with all of that, like always, anything I mentioned or referenced in this video will be linked down below. Uh, big thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. You guys are truly fantastic. And with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.